Well, hey guys, got fantastic news. We got the Generac partially installed. We got the electrical part done. Uh, as you can see, she's in. If you want to see uh, start to finish on getting it off the pallet and getting all the electronical, the uh, electronical, I can't even talk today, the electrical part hooked up, uh, watch this video. It's really cool, lots of information. I really tried to dive deep into uh, as they pulled the wires, where the wires are coming from, how they hook into the transfer switch to give you guys a real basic understanding of how this thing works. It's really Really awesome it's a great piece of equipment so check out this video so guys the first thing that they've done is pull the covers off and analyze the way the system lays out <clears throat> I'll swing the camera around and I'll show uh, this side here <clears throat> is gonna be the side that goes up against the wall this side here will be the side that goes closest to the house this is where the wires will run in come up and tie into the generator and one of the things i love about this is the muffler and all is on this side and that puts the muffler the farthest part away from the house also they have already started doing uh, cutting out uh, the grommet holes for running the the wire and the conduit uh, into the transfer switch the first thing they're going to do is mount this tie it into the meter box and oh by the way <clears throat> i wanted to uh, say thanks so much for the comments that i've gotten i had a really cool question the question was is why are they drilling another hole through here instead of going back through the hole that's already in the wall? And the answer is, in Virginia, it's electrical code. You can only have so much wire in a conduit, meaning the conduit cannot be stuffed completely full with uh, wiring inside. There has to be a certain ratio. And so there, therefore, we have to do another uh, cut out and that'll be something they'll be doing shortly is doing a core drill through the concrete wall so anyway just wanted to give you guys a quick update where we are uh, the electricians have already got their master list their measurements uh, they've run to the wholesale warehouse they're picking up uh, all the supplies they need uh, we're going to be doing copper cabling and so they're running and grabbing all of that stuff and they'll be back here shortly and they'll be getting rocking and rolling so anyway wanted to bring you an update for now Anyway, we'll wait for them to get back and we'll continue to get busy. All right, so this right here is the meter base pull. This is the main feed from the utility power. And this right here is what runs into the thing currently. This is all gonna get pulled and this will run from here through here into this box. So that's the next thing they'll be working on. Right, guys right in the middle of the project i've asked them to stop let me take a quick update for you guys so wanted to do it real in-depth tied up with the camera so the main this is a meter box main input wires come up to here meter plugs into here this is the uh, output or the gazalta uh, the output now instead of feeding from here straight to the house it goes through this pvc pipe up and over into the transfer switch this is what you would say the gazenta into the main thing so down here is where all the work gets done. You've got these wires here that will go and be connected to the house. This wire here will be going over and connect to the generator. And the way this thing works is uh, the main wires plugs into the bottom, the generator wires plugs into here, and when the this senses that the utility pole power is gone, this big thing clunks down, changes the way the connection feed, 
is inside this this uh, breaker or this circuit here and instead of the power coming from here it then reroutes it from here out of the generator over into the house it's really cool the way this works anyway i wanted to give you guys a real nice up close and personal to see exactly how this is so now the guys will come in they'll finish all this up they've got a signal wire to hook up as well and once they get all that finished i'll give you guys another update let's get back busy all right and the other thing i wanted to share with you guys is the way the power runs now the old power used to be up here that ran in uh, from straight from the meter box it went over and it came down through here and this is all routed up in the house and we didn't want to have to tear all that out so we just cut it off flush and so now the new feed that comes in goes through here comes over comes into the side of the box and now it ties right down in this is the main input into the breaker breaker box breaker panel panel box i guess is what you would say so uh this is pretty much all done all tied in and this is pretty much finished and other than they're just going to lock down the the straps to secure it and then the rest of it now they're to a point all of this is now tied in guys I wanted to give you one quick walk through and see the final with all the doors on it is all bolted down to the concrete and all locked in now the next phase this is where the gas line will be brought in and you can see how uh, this bolted up flat against to the surface uh, from uh, you saw where I cleaned the rock away now we'll come back in and we will mortar this and we'll put uh, I've got these rocks I will mortar them back on and we will fill all this in and make it look real it'll it'll be all finished the way it is around this side and then this runs down it's all locked to the concrete it's all safe and let me show you in here we came up all in conduit runs around goes right into the main box and it's all nice and neat job i'm very pleased with the way it all turned out guys i want to say a huge thanks out to q and all of the guys with the river district electrical crew i think they did a fantastic job and i'm just tickled to death the way this part of it turned out as you know this is a process it just doesn't go drop in uh, there's lots of elements to make this happen uh, the next thing that'll be on the list is digging a trench i have got to run a trench from here i've got to do it at least 18 inches i'm gonna probably do 24 and i've got to run the trench through here and around and the 500 gallon tank is around in the backyard Yard. it's about a hundred foot run it's no problem for propane so uh, that'll be the next thing and then after that uh, we will be bringing in the gas uh, people from the gas company and they will actually run the line and connect it at both ends and get the propane fed to the generator and then the last step will be uh, installing the battery uh, checking everything firing it up do a test run and programming it to the Wi-Fi system in the house so uh, it's really cool uh, I'm trying my best to bring you guys lots of close-up detail uh, in this video as you saw I tried to do a lot of close in with the way the transfer switch worked real close in so you can see all the electrical connections and see how the gazentas and gazaltas worked for the way the power feed was so hope you found that very uh, entertaining I hope and uh, very informative and and beneficial and if so please consider smacking the subscribe uh, be sure to like and share with your friends and for now guys uh, we'll call this the end of phase two uh, next one coming soon. You know us at Project Next. There's always one more. So we'll be bringing you the next uh, part of the series very, very soon. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care and we'll be back talking to you again real soon. Have a great week. We'll see you.